Hello, my name is Lujane El Sheik. My goal is to be a full-time actress in television, film, and theater. This reel is just a taste of the work I've done thus far. In addition to my acting, I also sing, dance, and play the guitar and piano. Thank you for your time and consideration. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveler long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as far that the passing there had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, and leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I traveled two roads during my time at Wayne State University. One as an anthropology major, and another as a theater major. Now how do these two work together? Well, they're both forms of storytelling. And that's ultimately what I am. A very curious storyteller. I want to ask other people, if they had one story to tell the world before they died, what would it be? With these stories, I want to compile a book that will analyze these new folk tales and perhaps find new human universals and even perhaps shed light on injustices that need to be rectified. This book then will eventually lead to a play that I hope will, human will help humanize the other. My name is Alexander Blue, and I am a director. I am originally from Laval, Quebec, New Market, Ontario, Cap Rouge, Quebec, Lake Orion, Michigan, and most recently Detroit, Michigan. I've taken to the track of being a director because I believe I have the ability to see and understand the greater vision of a play. And through a collaborative process, I work with everyone involved in the production in order to mend all of our visions together into one greater theatrical event. These events, at their heart, I feel, are a reflection of the human condition as seen through our imagination. Now I'd like to show you a little bit from two of the productions I've directed. First is Sam Shepard's Tooth of Crime Second Dance, followed by All Kinds of Men, which is an original work written by Ermin Jones. Tooth of Crime presented everybody that was involved in the process with the challenge of bringing a strange world of rock and roll to life in a way that the audience could understand. I believe we were successful in doing this by rooting everything we did back to the manifestation of Haas's crisis of identity. All Kinds of Men challenged us with a juxtaposition of ridiculous and tender moments. With this, we had to strike a balance between the ridiculous and the real in a way that the audience would believe and enjoy. I believe that we were able to do just that by grounding everything back into the reality of the characters and the play. I believe that a director needs to enter the process with an open and flexible attitude. Each new person that comes on board will bring their own views and ideas, and a director needs to be able to adapt and change their own vision according to these views and ideas. I don't pretend to have all the answers because I don't.
However, I surround myself with people who might have the answers, or at least a pretty good idea, and together we're able to work as a team in order to create what we believe is art, or at least some good theater. My name is Alexander Blue, and I am a director. this fascination with the Brothers Grimm. I think they're really good stories. But the original Grimm Brothers, not like the updated happy ending stuff, because not everything is a happy ending. So I researched, I looked up all the stories, I read the stories, and then I read them again to find which moment in the story I wanted to pull my character from. You know, So I kind of took these characters that already existed and made them exist differently. But I just wanted to kind of twist them into something interesting. Everything started out as research. And then I took polls for individual stories and, you know, is this horrifying enough? A lot of my characters all started out just with like beauty makeup on, just regular makeup, just to be pretty. So that was the twist, because they were pretty girls, you know, and I kind of destroyed them later. Um, with Snow White, what I did was made her look innocent, even though she secretly was calling animals to her and stuff, like, to eat them. The Wicked Queen is Elizabeth Bathory a little bit. She's drinking the blood of the innocent. With with Rapunzel, chunks of her scalp missing from her hairline and she's ripping her hair out and she starts eating it. And it's it's an actual mania, it's called uh, trichotillomania. Since, you know, she can't control any elements of her life, eating her hair is th is the one thing to keep it with her. Hansel and Gretel were the ones that started this and Everybody knows they stumble into the witch's house and she tricks them and fattens them up and shoves them in the oven and bakes them. They're wandering around trying to find their way back home and they start eating each other because, you know, they've been baked and seasoned and they're just so delicious. I did Sleeping Beauty so that she she's, was asleep for a hundred years and what happens sometimes in real life when people sleep too long, they start to lose tactile feeling in their faces sometimes. and. Like, they can't control what things are doing anymore. Like, they can't control their eyes sometimes, or their mouth. And then we did Lilith, which is not a grim story at all, but she's basically the queen of hell. Her statues are, a lot of them, she's an owl. She's depicted as, like, half owl, half woman. Well, the story of Rose Stiltskin, when she says his name on the third guess, you know, it wouldn't be Rumpelstiltskin, would it? He gets so angry, just ripping his own face and skin. Like, he was just so angry. We had him literally covered in what? Probably a gallon of blood. Okay, the story with the girl with no hands is actually... I'd never heard of it until I started researching. The devil said, I can't take her if any part of her is clean. So the devil ordered the dad, the farmer, the coward that he is, to chop off his daughter's hand, so he does it. Little Red Riding Hood, the story with her is she's got her trusty, rusty axe that the woodsman leaves, and so she, she claws her way out of the wolf's stomach. I killed this wolf that thought he killed me, and he thought he ate me. 